Hey Cumberland, it's Mr. Goddard, the librarian at Cumberland Elementary. Thanks for joining me for another read aloud. Today, we are gonna be reading a story written by a very famous and important ballet dancer. Her name is Misty Copeland. You might have seen her dancing in the Disney movie, uh, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. She's been a part of many important ballet troops and her dancing is an inspiration to so many people. Um, when we read our book today, think about what the older dancer says to the younger dancer in the book. How do you think it makes the younger dancer feel? Before we get started, I have three important ballet words for you. The first one is pas de deux, pas de deux. This is a French phrase for a ballet dance with two people in it. The second one is pirouetting, which is a ballet move where you spin around on one foot. The last word is arabesque. This is a ballet position where the dancer stands on one leg and balances their other leg behind them. Firebird. Ballerina Misty Copeland shows a young girl how to dance like a firebird. Written by Misty Copeland, illustrated by Christopher Myers. To Raven Wilkinson. The space between you and me is longer than forever. You are the sky and clouds and air. Your feet are swift as sunlight, stretching across the skyline like the day-long sun over the horizon. Me? I'm gray as rain, heavy as nap time, low as a storm pressing on rooftops. I could never hope to leap the space between. Darling child, don't you know you're just where I started? Let the sun shine on your face. Your beginning's just begun. Before the curtain rises, before the spotlight falls, before the fireworks of costumes, before, before it all. I was a dancer just like you, a dreaming shooting star of a girl with work and worlds ahead. There I am, sweating at the bar. I had a thousand leaps and falls, switching worn out slippers, swift as applause. Even birds must learn to fly like me. You'll grow steady in grace, spread an arabesque of wings and climb. Each position, one through five, Stair steps to the sky? That's right. You will soar, become a swan, a beauty, a firebird for sure. Soon, with the same practice, you'll join me in this dancing dream. In a pas de deux, a music box for two, we will wrap our hearts careful as ribbons on point shoes. We'll make the night sky our starry curtain, the moon our silver spotlight, as we spin across the planets, pirouetting tightly as the curls on our heads. Spinning wishes for new little ones we can't yet imagine. Then they will look to you in wonder, lighter than air, swift as sunlight, turning over the day and say, the space between you and me is longer than forever. And I will show them that forever is not so far away. Dear reader, I was once a little girl searching for my voice, quiet 
scared, unique, yet alive and vibrant. I struggled, caught among five siblings, desperate to be noticed. I never felt that I fit in anywhere, not even at home surrounded by my family. My discovery of movement became my saving grace when I was introduced to ballet. It was like finding the missing piece to my puzzle. I danced my worries and fears away. The beauty of dance is being a part of something that is all you, from creation to performance. You hold the power of your instrument. That instrument comes in all shapes and sizes and colors. That instrument is your body, soul, and heart. That instrument is you and me. But when I opened up ballet books, I didn't see myself. I saw an image of what a ballerina should be, and she wasn't me. Brown with tendrils sweeping her face. I needed to find me. This book is you and me. I want to expand the idea of beauty and art. Raven Wilkinson, African-American ballet ballerina with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo and other amazing women took my hand and led me. Now it is my turn to lead others. This book is bringing my existence and non-existence as a young girl to life, showing other girls and boys that they're not alone. They can too find their voice, their wings, their missing piece. My hopes are that people will feel empowered to be whatever they want to be, to feel that they have no limits, just endless dreams that are reachable. No matter what the dream is, you have the power to make it come true with hard work and dedication, despite what you look like or struggle with. I hope to pave a more definitive path than the one that was there for me when I was just a little too hidden. I want to bring many with me to trace and create an even more vivid road to acceptance of yourself and from others. Join me. Sincerely yours, Misty Copeland. Hey, Cumberland. All right. I have two things that you could do after watching my read aloud. The first one is you could watch a video of Misty Copeland. Um, I have it in the description of this video. The second thing you could do is you could research a role model. You could research someone like a dancer, like Misty Copeland, um, a scientist like Jane Goodall, an author like Jason Reynolds, or anyone else who inspires you. It could also be someone who lives in your community. So while you're doing the research online, you could ask a parent for help, or if you know how to do it yourself, you could do that as well. So think about what they went through, learn a little bit about their lives and what brought them to where they are now. All right, have a great day. I miss you guys. Stay reading, stay safe, stay healthy.